If we just reflect on our lives, we'll see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tremendous blessings. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself quite rightly says, That if we were to count the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will not be able to do so. Because literally, Even if we look at our own selves, you know, there's so many blessings, how our immune system works, how our, you know, other biological clocks work. They're truly, you know, truly remarkable. We cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those things. Then things around us, the access to clean water, our family, our friends, our work, you know, our, the wealth that we have, or the, the, or the health that we have, all these are blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now what Allah expects of us in return is what we expect of other human beings that when someone opens the door for us and holds the door for us what do we say we say thank you you know it's a, it's a universally accepted good characteristic that one ought to have so similarly when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us so many blessings what do we, what should we do in return we should say thank you to Allah we should show our gratitude one of the best ways to say thank you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praying is is is, is doing is holding and establishing namaz and also, not just by paying lip service, but whatever Allah has given us for this, our energy, our, our health, our wealth, you know, our time, spending some of that in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that will truly show that we are actually thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how did the companions and the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, they... they, they they showed that gratitude. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to pray all night long, and sometimes he, you know, he his his feet, blessed feet, will swollen up because of standing in in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And Sayyida Aisha, the mother of the believers, one day she said, "Oh Prophet of Allah, Allah has given you so much. Allah does not expect as much from you. Why are you putting yourself into so much trouble?" And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so beautiful and eloquently responded to that he said Afala kana abdin shakura. shall I not be a grateful uh, servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he has blessed me so much I should do more than others to, to show gratitude to show thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now some of the ways to show thank you to Allah is you know establishing five daily prayers is giving charity in the way of Allah is, is being grateful to our family members our loved ones who Allah has given to us that will that will bring this feeling of happiness in us and actually it's scientifically proven fact that when we give when we give something it actually brings happiness to us when we give something in the way of Allah it, 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 our heart is filled up with joy you know the jo joy that we so much uh, are looking for uh, in different places it actually comes when we show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we pray that Allah helps us to show that gratitude to him and always be grateful and at times it's very difficult when you're going through very difficult times you know we we, we are very quick to complain we are very quick to um very quick to say you know why me why me why why am i going through this trouble but actually even in those times if we are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will see that actually the thing stays there but it's our perception our our positive outlook on life will actually change how we react to the difficult circumstances that at times we face we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always keeps us underneath the shade of his mercy in this world and in the next world as well <laughs>